This year, for my birthday, I decided to go for a camping trip into the north. I always loved to go out into nature and just explore. My best friend wasn't particularly excited with the plan, but he agreed on coming with me. The plan was to drive to a small cabin at the base of the mountain. That would be our base camp. And from there, we would walk the trails we had planned, bringing camping supplies, along with a tent, in case we didn't have time to go back. The day arrives, and we start the trip. Pickup is loaded with everything, and I am very excited. We arrived at the cabin. It was smaller than what I had seen in pictures, but it was fine. Just a place to keep our things and to sleep. We brought our things inside and started a fire. It was freezing cold. We ate some food and had a few drinks while we planned which trail we were going to do first. We agreed and went to sleep. We were going to wake up early the next day. Morning came and we started our first hike. We brought light equipment on our backs, only one tent just in case we had to camp, a few other supplies, but we were packing light. We passed several beautiful places. This first trail was gorgeous. I really was having the time of my life, just being in contact with the nature, having my best friend with me. Just amazing. We were like one and a half hour in when my friend spots a secondary trail. He asked me if I wanted to quickly explore it. Might have had something interesting as well. I told him we shouldn't leave the main one or we could get lost. He said we would go in quickly and try not to leave this smaller path. Then, if nothing interesting was found, we would turn around and go back to the main trail. I agreed, and we went for it. While we walked this trail, the scenery had changed and it wasn't so pleasant as before. Even the trees looked scarier. I told my friend we should go back. He also agreed. We walked for hours on this smaller path, and I could have sworn we were walking in circles. We just couldn't find the main trail. This was an absolute mistake. My friend started getting worried and panicking. I assured him we would be fine. I told him to unpack and we were going to camp here for the night and go back to the main trail in the morning. Several hours in and I was awoken from my sleep in the middle of the night, after having a terrible nightmare. I looked at my side to check on my friend, but he wasn't there. I got up and went outside to look for him. I shouted his name a few times, but to no avail. I was worried something had happened to him, so I decided to walk around our campsite just a little further and check if I could see him, somehow, somewhere. I walked for around 30 minutes until I spotted fresh footprints in the snow. It had to be my friend, so I followed it. It led me to a nearby opening in the forest, like a circle with a big stone in the middle that I could see in the distance. I walked closer to the center and as I got closer, I could see my friend, from the back, looking at the rock. I ran to my friend, shouting his name. He had no reaction to it, and when I reached him, I grabbed his shoulder for him to turn around to me. But again, he wasn't reacting. I look at him. This is when I felt sheer panic. His eyes were white and fixated on the stone. I tried to snap him out of it, but he was just standing there. I took a look into the rock, 
and it had some kind of symbols written into it. I couldn't understand what they meant, but I needed to help my friend, so I turned around to go to him. Behind my friend, in the distance, I spotted a pair of glowing eyes, shining in the middle of the forest. I just wanted to leave, so I grabbed my friend's hand and I pushed him to start walking. Not only did he not move, but this time he told me the following words. He doesn't want us to go. I asked him who he was speaking of. Right then, from behind my friend, a shadow started appearing and growing just right behind him. As I walked backwards, I felt on the ground, still looking at the shadow, paralyzed with fear. The shadow starts getting clearer, and I could swear it was the thing that appeared in my nightmare. But I just wanted to run. So I got up quickly, and I ran all the way into the forest again. I mourned for my friend, that I could not save him, but I needed to save myself. I eventually found the main trail. Thank goodness. I promise I will try to find help, and we will come back for you, my friend. <laughs>